Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode 25, the penultimate episode of season 3 of Young Justice. Last we saw Cyborg, Violet, and the rest of the kids helped rescue the Meditines, defeat Granny Goodness, deal a blow to uh, Apocalypse. Alright, let's get to it. Cuban Youth Center in Taos, New Mexico is reportedly overwhelmed by the sudden influx, but is making arrangements to expand its services or open other branches. I believe it's now time to put our plan in motion. I love that. Of course they have a plan. made a splash by releasing footage that places the blame for this deep space meta-trafficking squarely on the back of media magnate Gretchen Good, claiming that the much-beloved Granny Good... Wow, um, what's this? I arranged for five... I know everybody has to move on. I'm still not with the shits. I have. Jesus, now I feel awful. I will drop the psychic illusion. I love that. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Double X. It's one who freed, uh, helped and free Superboy. Is the you see the value of heroism and service. We want them to take ownership of the outsiders. Because in the end, aren't we I all love that. outsiders? And what about Infinity Incorporated? Some think this new group of young heroes is stealing the outsider. The best I can do is help you meet him halfway. <sighs> Thank you. D don't thank me. Just try to not hate me when this is over. I'll be thanking Jesus. Hey, babe. Missed you. I feel so bad for her. I've never seen Zatanna so scared. Oh! Stay back! I think not. Oh, oh shit! Child is perfectly safe here, granddaughter. <laughs> granddaughter. Indeed. You are my granddaughter. Alright. And you are my grandson. Boxes. For you are both the children of the children of my intellect. Assuming Darkseid does not kill you, since you both present great obstacles to his plans. Metron's lack of fuck giving is hilarious. Now that's an important development. And I do believe the target is important enough to risk compromising the Smarkov's cover. Send word, Slade. The op is a go. What? Oh my god. But our brother Connor gathered allies who liberated us from that place and that servitude. They brought us to this place. <laughs> no, sorry. Using the power of illusion to hide our true forms from passing outsiders. So that's the same thing he's been doing. Make the sun appear. Mm. Let's see what else is on, okay? Coming up next, another wacky episode. Hello? That's enough TV for now. It's time for the baby's late night feeding anyway. Yeah, it's very late, babe. I never want to leave. We Jesus. are comfortable. And Violet, and Victor, and Tara. Yes, our brother has always been good at collecting strays. At helping <laughs> individuals your own role in the connected world. When will you take the final step to help your own people? As I love that, he even fucking woke. We just wanted to stop by. To see the baby, I understand, but I hope you understand why I need to be selfish right now and not share our little family. Well, uh... That's... Last time, we are not naming our child after Connor's dog. What child? Where? Jesus. No, no! We needed this night to finally say goodbye. But the night's ending. And it's time for my Spitfire to go home. Depressing last yeah. episode. That Spitfire moment in season one is one of my favorite moments. The whole relationship is one of my favorite things ever. Slow build, kind of perfect. Wow. I'm so 
still can't believe you summoned Wally's ghost for her. I did no such thing. I told Artemis I didn't have that power, and I meant it. Then McGann! McGann created a playground, an open space to work things out for herself. We'll tell her someday. Wow. Maybe we won't. You shouldn't. You're my <laughs> sister-in-law. I know. <laughs> Friends? Okay. Friends. I'll, um, see you in the morning. I'll have the coffee brewing. Come over, sleep. <laughs> the humans and members of the military loyal to him. No word yet on the status or location of King Gregor Markle. Oh shit! Excuse me, this just matter. And there are good people on both sides. Both sides. The solution involves peaceful <laughs> negotiations, not super heroics. They must have known I was out of the country. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Though the Justice League may not intervene, my squad doesn't face those restrictions. This is what I've been preparing for. I cannot be patient, brother. <laughs> we tried things your way, now we try them mine. There we go. Here we come. Right into the trap. God damn. Aww. All right, that was episode 25 of Young Justice. Is it me? Or did this feel like a... First of all, not what it was. Did it feel like a reset? Almost like a. I'm not sure what the word to look for is. Uh, I don't want to say a prelude, a transition, like a season premiere almost. It felt like last episode was a climax and then we're kind of transitioning into something else. We obviously are wrapping up some storylines we had throughout the season. Um, with Wally and Artemis and Will and um, heading towards the conclusion in Markovia with Tara but to me the dark side stuff the light and dark side battle was the big glooming thing hanging over the season it feels like a lot of it was handled last episode and then we're kind of transitioning out of that this episode I assume that's because the majority I should have some majority. Enough of it will be covered next season. No way the Dark Side is getting wrapped up this season. So next season feels like when we'll get more Dark Side and the light and the new gods, etc. etc. This is the taste. We've got some pressing things to do here. Markovia. Um, Artemis, etc. And we'll hit you with whatever you need to be hit with. I like this episode because I love Artemis. I don't know where she ranks on my character list. I've never done a Young Justice character list. Um, but she's really high. I like her from the start. I love her backstory. I love her family uh, relationship. I love the relationship with Wally. She's probably... Out of sight of Nightwing. She's probably my favorite. Superboy's climbing the list. He's been really mature this season. I like what they did. Um, addressing his... Not only his growth, but he still has some more to go. He's not Superman just yet, which is a tall task for anybody. But uh, it feels like he's about to make some more steps. I'm okay with that. I'm glad that Artemis and Will are not going to be a couple. I want Artemis to be happy. Very much so. But um, I don't want it like that. <laughs> um... I miss Cheshire. To me, she added a lot to the show. This season's felt very disjointed. It's picked up towards the end. It's kind of ramped up these last few episodes um, into Young Justice territory. But uh, very all over the place. They got a lot of storylines going on at once. I feel like we can. We, didn't, we haven't even addressed the Batman uh, uh, situation uh, that we were dealt with a couple episodes ago. Like, there's just a lot going on, constantly. And if we could whittle away some of these storylines, I'd feel like it'd be a little better. Um, but again, this might just be part of a two-season arc. All of this, just... Carrying through. Um, I like Brion taking a leadership role. The fact that Garfield wasn't bothered by that made me very happy. 
again, I've always said this felt a lot about Garfield and not just about the team and helping. Proved me a little wrong this episode. He just wants it to get done. Um, the fact that they don't apparently see through Lex's outsiders concerns me a little bit. Um, Brion not seeing through Tara, that's, that's just as though she's, there's no reason to ever suspect her. Uh, though, the fact that only the three of you, maybe some bodyguards, knew about, uh, King, fuck, I got his name, Brion's brother, being there, and now, uh, it leaked, there was a coup, and their uncle was in charge, Bedlam, gotta feel like there's only a few dots to be connected here. Either way, the lights plan is in full motion, and the team is hot. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. What did you think? I liked it. I liked it. A downer from most episodes. Um, again, I love Wally and Artemis. I love Artemis in general. I assume that Megan and um, Satana thing will never come up, but that's more so hope. Than any actual proof. I assume it would come up at some point. Like. Anyway, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.